beautiful at lasers. And there's this one. I wanted to share. I made a thimble for Alfred for him to do applique. And I wanted to share my thimble. All right, hold on. I lasered these on my laser, so. This is leather that I got from Tandy Leather. Um, it's just a skin of leather that I bought years ago for a quilting project. I'm gonna move the laser back. And I'm also going to move it to the side. I also have these magnets where I'm able to lay down the fabric nice and flat. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to focus. This is what focus looks like. Neon lasers for it to frame you have to hit this and this together and this is what the framing looks like this is the cut setting and this is a engraving setting and that's the design I'm just removing any of the chari. I also did this at the same settings, meaning the engraving was 529 but you could see how much clearer this leather it looks. So with leather, less is more. I also sealed this leather. So if it looks a little different, it's because I cleaned it and I also sealed it and I also painted the edges. Excuse the messiness of this leather it, but I think this is one of my favorite I was trying to paint the end and it seeped out and I'm trying to fix it, but that's not what we're looking at. Um, I try to also put tape and it seeped through, but that's not my favorite sitting. And ultimately it came out to 529. This one, this is 527, but you can see that the L is a mess. I recommend that you seal your leather, and this is what I'm using to seal it. You seal it, or you put this on and let it dry, and then you can buff it the leather. The areas that are engraved tend to start cracking, and so this seals the leather from cracking in the engraved area. what happens is it starts to crack inside the engraved area. So sometimes less engraving on leather is better, but if you do have to, I recommend you seal it. Also too, leather starts to kind of fray or wear on this area. So you need to seal the edges. And this is what I use to seal the edges. They have this in different colors and you're supposed to do like one or two or even three 
coats. And you just paint it on and you can see that it didn't do a very good job because I'm learning how to work this product. Uh, you let it dry and then you put two or three layers and each time you let it dry. Also too, you can see that I sealed this leatherette even though there's a lot of engraving and you don't see the cracking. What I'm making with this, it's a thimble. I am a quilter and this is a thimble that I created. I lasered this and it was cracking and I sealed it and I also buffeted it and it's beautiful. I also conditioned the leather. I also put a corset ribboning on here and it goes on this finger. It could also be called a tailor's thimble. But look how beautiful the engraving is. The engraving on this one is 530 and the cut is 70 by 42. But uh, hopefully I get better. These are tries. They're not perfect.